Uh, hello everyone, in this video I will introduce you to this uh, S7 400 PLC panel. This is a typical panel of uh, S7 400 PLC. S7 400 PLC is one of the Sematic S7 PLCs. Uh, we have three racks in these two panels. This is the rack 1, this is the rack 2 and this one is the rack 3. Uh, so let's introduce you to each module of this panel. Well, uh, starting from the top, this is the S7. Uh, uh, this is the Cyto power supply. It takes 220 volt AC supply and converts it to 24 volt DC. Uh, this is the Scalens switch, right? X2042 is its model number and uh, its job is to connect the S7400 PLC into a network right since it is a DCS the PLC the S7400 PLC in this panel is connected into a network of PLCs and HMIs right so this PLC is a node in the DCS network and this PLC is connected into the network through this scalen switch you can uh, see the ethernet cable going into this switch and the uh, fiber optic cable these are the fiber optic cables uh, from uh, both sides of the ring network right the, the plc's are connected into a ring network this is a dc ups right its job is to make this scalens switch alive right because we do not want the scalens switch to go off right the power must be uh, 24 by 7 right it must be energized all the time so the dc ups this ups actually uh, uh, charges this uh, cytop UPS 1100 battery right and uh, keeps the scalen switch alive uh, next up is the first module in this first rack you can clearly see PS40720 ampere this is the power supply module right it takes 220 volt AC and uh, through bake plane bus it is energizing the CPU, communication processors, and the rest of system materials. So this is the uh, power supply module PS40720 ampere. Its rated capacity is 20 ampere. You can see various uh, um, indicators: internal fault, battery fault, battery one fault, battery two fault, DC five volt, DC twenty four volt and some switches power on power off switch if you look at the uh, so this is the first ps407 uh, bet uh, power supply module next up is uh, cpu 4163 this is the S7400 model of this uh, S7400 PLC model. It has a couple of indicators, internal part, external part, bus 1 part, bus 2 part, force, run, stop, and a switch to turn this PLC into stop mode and memory reset. You can also see the uh, memory card. This memory card has the PLC program in it, right? This is the SRAM, static RAM, random access memory, and uh, the entire work memory, the entire uh, program is lying in this memory card, right? Next up is CP443. This is the power supply module. This is the uh, CPU. This is the memory card. This is the communication processor. The purpose of communication processor 
is to take this um, Ethernet connection from this rake to this Scalens switch, right? This communication processor takes the entire data from these input output cards to the Scalens switch and the Scalens switch subsequently takes the data into the DCS network to the HMIs and operator station etc. Right? So the communication processor purpose is to ensure communication of the data from this PLC to the HMIs and operator stations in the DCS network in other PLCs as well if required. This is an additional communication processor and uh, we have installed it here for the connection of various sensors which are directly coming to this PLC, right? So this CP module is for the communication of uh, few temperature and pressure sensors which are connected to this PLC through Profibus PA network. Okay, so the, the rest of the modules you can see AI8 cross 13 bit. These are the analog input modules which communicate sensors like temperature, pressure, flow, level sensors to this PLC through, this, through these analog input cards. So they, these are the analog input cards. Uh, right from here you can also see analog output cards AO8 cross 13 bit it means every analog output card has 8 channels and every channel resolution is 13 bit so these are the analog input and analog output cards in this rack of S7 400 PLC coming to the rack second in this rack we have digital input produce if you look at the description of each digital input module you can see digital input di 16 cross uc 24 volt to 60 volt it means each card each digital input card has 16 channels i.e it can take 16 digital inputs for example 16 uh, limit switches or uh, 16 push button etc can be communicated or can be connected or can be interfaced with this single digital input card and every digital input signal must be between 24 volt DC to 60 volt DC so these are the digital input modules right and uh, right here in the third rake we are having digital output modules and the same is the case with digital output module each digital output module has 16 channels you can see 16 cross DC 24 volt slash 2 ampere each digital output card has 16 digital output channels and each digital output channel is having the DC 24 volt so this is the third rake in this in these PLC's panels uh, along with the power supply, CPU, communication processor, analog input, analog output, digital input and digital output modules. We also have an interface module, right? You can look at IM461 in each rack. IM461 module is in each rack, right? The purpose of this interface module is to communicate the modules in the rack to the main CPU right the data from the analog uh, input or digital input output modules in the second and third rack will be communicated to the CPU CPU 4163 through these interface modules right so this is the significance of the interface module in a typical S7400 PLC panel, right? So this was the brief uh, introduction of the modules in an S7400 PLC panel. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment. I will be answering those questions 
happily. Right?